Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kyle Martin. We're heading out into the field today with the dogs. We're walking back to the banks of the Baraboo River for some late evening plein air painting. The biggest problem that plein air painters have had since the beginning of time is figuring out a location to do your painting at. When I first started painting, I had some places in mind that made some really good places to paint. And then after I had extinguished all those places, it really forced me to dig deeper and search out some other good places to paint. And I think that there's a couple of things that I'm always looking for when it comes to finding a place to paint. Well, I'm set up and I have my drawing done on the canvas and now it's time for me to mix up some of my colors. I found this location two days ago when I was walking with the dogs around the banks of the river. This view of the river was really striking to me and so I took a photograph and I made a note of it. There's going to be really amazing quality of light happening at this location. What I'm looking for in a painting subject is a good arrangement of shapes and a, a good quality of light and shadow. So these paintings are gonna take me another session each to complete, but I think it's easy to see why I chose this location today. I'm happy that I'm working on two because that final golden hour effect is really special and it's so fleeting. That's that golden hour effect. You know, it was very sunlit, everything was kind of sun soaked, and tomorrow I'm gonna be adding a lot more color. But that golden hour effect really created a lot of contrast and I'm really excited to get back here on another evening that has such clear light. Dogs are going crazy, we're gonna walk back to the farm. Welcome back. We're out here for day two. You can hear that the cranes are back. I saw some cranes fly overhead two days ago and now they've touched down in the marsh here at the farm. 
Some more tips that I have for selecting subjects for plein air painting is to look for subject matter that lends itself to the language of paint. What I mean by that is stand back from your subject and squint your eyes. And I squint my eyes almost to the point where I can't hardly even see out of them anymore. And what that does is it creates a, a low res image of your subject matter. You can kind of see just the big underlying shapes by squinting your eyes. And if you have shapes that are easily seen and there's a good amount of contrast between them, then I think that you have a subject matter that is gonna work with you as far as the language of paint. With oil painting, you use big chunky brushes and it's a thick paint. It's really fun to make really bold and tiled brush marks with your big bristle brushes and large easily seen shapes will work with you and not against you. Another idea and one that I'm working with today is to be at least 50 feet away from your subject matter. I think in the Carlson's Guide to Landscape Painting, he even suggested that you stand 50 feet away from where the foreground is gonna start in your painting. That especially for something like today where there's bare branches on the... There goes the cranes. On a day like today, there's bare branches and it wouldn't be impossible to paint all those with oil paint. Somebody can do it and people probably do do it, but it's not really natural to do that. By standing back 50 feet, those bare branches become just sort of shapes of value and color that you can observe and make decisions about when you're painting. Another tip that I have is to get yourself to an area that you think is going to be a good area to paint in and spend an afternoon or an evening just taking photographs in that area. And if you can take a couple notes or do a quick little sketch, anything that is going to help you to remember what you saw that evening. For me, it was nice spending the evening a couple nights ago walking along the banks of the Baraboo River during the golden hour. And there was such a nice light happening and it was really streaming right down the river and illuminating some trees on the opposite bank of the river. But I had to find a place that had a good arrangement of shapes. And so in the half mile stretch of riverbank that I walked along, there was one area that I felt had the strongest shapes. So I was sure to get a photograph of that location. It took me a little bit yesterday, but I got back out here and I found the exact location that I had found on my stroll a couple nights ago. There's no road markers out here, like street signs or anything like that. I was actually looking for a clump of dirt that was creating sort of a mound shape in the foreground. So that's how I could indicate that I was in the right location. On an afternoon like today, when the light is gonna be very beautiful, it's really important to be able to remember how beautiful it was in the moment. Because photographs, to me, they just don't bring back the feeling of being there, of seeing this illuminated scene in the flesh. But you can write about that, and that's what I'd recommend, is just jot down a little bit. How did your subject matter make you feel? What was the main idea about your subject matter that made you feel that way? Those ideas can be helpful in finding and remembering your subject matter. So this is just kind of a backflow from the river and it's still frozen. We still have a lot of snow on the shadow banks of the river and also on the parts of the river that are uh, not as exposed to sunlight. It's very March-like out here. Dog scared off those couple geese. This is about my third different route that I've taken to get to my painting location today. And this has been about the driest route that I've found. I'm just trying different routes to get out here because right over to that side of me, it's very marshy and swampy. And I don't really want to walk through that right now. I'm not trying to lose a boot before I start painting. Maybe if I lost one afterwards, I'd be okay. Got some geese ahead.
I left my tripods out here from last night and the way that the river is rising right now, I thought maybe that the water would come up this high, but I mean, that would have been quite a jump, but you never know around here. Also left a brush right there on the bank of the river. I'm glad I came back for that too. Finishing up in the field today. This is the first painting that I worked on while I was out here. And here is that second one that was painted during the golden hour. I finished up a couple of paintings that I'm happy with. I think that I'm gonna keep working in this way. I think that I'm gonna do a couple paintings, take a day to walk around and observe my surroundings, find some new subject matter, find some things that are paintable and keep them in mind and keep them in my sketchbook. I think that that'll keep the painting process fresh and I think that it'll give me some direction as we move out of winter and into mud season. Thanks so much for tuning in. We have uploads on this channel every week on Friday. I look forward to seeing you soon.